if you're going to a wedding, then don't take your hat off unless the bride, the mother of the bride, sorry, takes her hat off. If she keeps her hat on, then you keep your hat on. If she takes hers off, then you take your hat off. Okay. Also at a wedding, don't wear anything that's too wide, that's wider than your shoulders, because then the waiter or waitress can't get in, and that's seen as rude, they can't get in to put the plate down. So don't have anything too wide. Also, if you have a hat that's too wide, if you've got a wide brim, then it can make you look shorter. If you think of a, a cone like this, so if the bottom is wide, then it actually makes you look shorter. But if you have a hat shape like this, it actually makes you look taller. So just think about the silhouette and the shapes. So if you have it wider than your shoulders, it can make you look shorter because it can bring you down and that's the mushroom effect. So never have anything wider. Um, if you're going to the opera, then you can wear a lovely hat, but make sure it's not too tall. And if it does obstruct anybody from behind you, then you have to take your hat off, which sounds awful. So you wouldn't want to do that if you were at the opera. So just make sure everybody behind you is able to see if you're going to the opera and wearing a, a nice big hat. Um, for ladies, if you're going to a dinner party, always keep your hat on. So you have a nice piece, a nice sort of fascinated piece here, and you'll never take it off. The man should come in, take his hat off, put it on the hat rack, but the ladies never, because you've always got your hat styled and you've got your hair styled and so you're never going to take it off, so you don't have to. Um, also, if you, when you wear your hat, if you have a parting, so my parting is here, so I've got more hair on this side. So I would put my hat here so that I can style up this side, but if I went and put my hat here, but I can't do much with this, it'll end up being flat, I'd have to push it back and then I've got a flat bit this side so it's better to put it on the parting side and then rouge that bit up. If you've got a middle parting or a fringe, don't worry about it, you can put it wherever you fancy. Um, but I always just like that rule of parting. They say in the old days you should always wear your hat on the left but I think these days you just go with your parting and decide because it all depends on your hair. Um, shaped faces is next, so I just want to explain to you quickly. If you've got a round face, so obviously a normal round face, then you don't want to wear anything too frilly, too girly, too rose, you know, too many flowers on there, or round. So if you had a round face and had a nice big round hat on here, it would accentuate your round face. So with people with round faces, you want to wear something a bit more asymmetric, something that's diagonally going through your face, have it here, have it just above your eyebrows, so it always should sit here. Um, but think of architecture and unusual buildings, something a little bit more asymmetric and, and not as fluffy, not too many feathers, and have it on a slant. Because that then, it's opposite to your face shape and it balances your face out. So you, are, you have to wear something opposite to what your shape face is. So round, always have asymmetric. Um, if you're going to have, if, if you've got, sorry, a long face, so mine is reasonably long, but if it was, if it was even longer or, or thinner, then you don't want to wear anything too tall. So you don't want something up here and down here, because then it makes your face look longer. So you can have something that stops here, have a little bit of height, but something that stops here and doesn't come down here will make your face look shorter. Your eye goes from here to here, and that cuts you across again and then it brings your face up and makes you slightly shorter. Um, if you've got a square jaw, so square jawed face, then you don't want to wear something with a flat top. So you want something with a round crown, a bit like the felt I showed earlier. So more of a round crown than a square top. So if you had a flat top like a pie hat, then you would accentuate the fact that you've got a square jaw. Um, so always have something a little bit more floaty, and that's when you can have things which are rosy, which are more feathers, a little bit more feminine and, and floaty, if you've got quite a square jaw. Um, lastly, if you have a nice cheekbones here pointing out and you want to accentuate those, then have the hat stopping about here. So you can have a nice piece and you could have a feather coming down, or maybe your base could stop here and it bring out this jawline here. If you don't want to accentuate your jawline, then stop up here or stop a bit further down. If you want to accentuate, sorry, you're, yeah, here. If you want to accentuate your jaw here, then you would put the hat here to accentuate it. If you don't want to, then bring it further up. So just think about little things like that when you're trying yours on. So basically, it's the opposite to what you are.